I think we can all memorize in an easier way. We just don't know how. That's how I felt. And over the years, I had a lot of comments and questions how I memorize so well. It looks like I memorize automatically everything so well, but part of it, it's true. Part of it, it's not really. I actually grew up in Korea where the norm was to memorize everything. So at that time growing up in Korea, I didn't even know there was an option that we can actually use a music stand on stage. So that was also a um, good way to, how, how shall I say, force yourself to memorize everything. So in that time, I was nine or 10 years old when I first started this instrument. And back then, I believe I had more time in terms of learning a piece. So one piece took a lot more time and I had a lot more time as well. So I would learn, for example, uh, Handel Sonata or Mozart Andante. So these were one of the very first pieces that I've ever learned on this instrument. And I think it took about a few months or even longer, six months, I don't remember, but certainly I had so much more time to learn and digest these pieces. So that was also very helpful. And also I was in an orchestra in my elementary school in Korea. And I remember we played one overture by Mozart, uh, the Marriage of the Figaro Overture for the whole entire semester. So we had two semesters in one year. So basically half a year we were playing only one overture. And at the end of the semester, we were all performing by heart, um, not knowing, not even questioning about if we can use the music at all. So that was how I grew up. So it became sort of a habit for me to memorize everything, um, to get it all in me without even trying so hard. As I said before, we had more time and we took more time as well to learn specific pieces. But then as I moved on to the music school, music college and professional musician life, I've realized I don't have that much time anymore. And sometimes I had to actually take time to make sure I learn it, I memorize it in my head. So it was only when I was 18, 19, when it first occurred to me that, oh, I actually have to take an effort to memorize it. And then I started thinking, how can I memorize better, more efficiently and faster and so on. Um, I'm not suggesting everyone of you to perform everything by heart. It's actually, actually it's an option. But then I've realized over the years when I put myself into the position thinking that I'm going to perform this by heart and it takes me to another level of learning and practicing. And at the same time, I try to put this pressure off, thinking that to have a music stand on stage or not, it's an option I can always decide in the last minute. Right before going on stage, I can decide, uh, shall I bring the music or not? Am I really that confident? If you can play by heart, for the audience, I think it it's another way of delivering and expressing your musical message, I would say, rather than reading off the page. It's like you seeing an actor reading off the script and doesn't matter how well this actor or actress is, there is a difference of delivering. So. It's definitely better without, I would say, but then uh, we should not get in to this idea that we have to do it. And when you're not completely comfort comfortable with playing by heart, on stage, all you're thinking about is 
what's my next note? And that's not the essence of performing. So only do perform by heart when you're completely 100%, 1000% comfortable with. Otherwise, um, the audience will feel very uncomfortable as well. So let's begin how to memorize a little bit easier. And I really hope you can put this into your practice as well.